hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy. And with him is plenteous redemption. Amen. Amen. With all of the trials and tribulations and tragedy, ups and downs that we go through in this life, I just want to encourage somebody this morning in the terms of our subject, don't lose hope. Amen. Don't lose a hope. My brother and my sister, I don't care how we uh, slice the pie, we're going to find out that in times such as these, in times, in these rough times, we can't lose our hope in Christ Jesus. It seems like everybody has a remedy how to prosper in the book of time. But the Bible explicitly tells us that we need God's grace and his hope and mercy in order to survive in times such as these. Sometimes we, we, don't, we don't hope in the Lord. We, we want to take matters into our own hands. Yeah, yeah. But my brother and my sister, we soon find out that we should have left it in the hands of God. Oh, but yes, all of our caution and wise and advisable, but in reality, all we ever needed in any situation <laughs> is the grace of God. And that's no. I, I wish I had 
you can compare your life to. Lord, Lord, have mercy. He, he, he said, he said, look, I, I, I don't have a time. I, I cried out to you, Lord. And I know that his, his, his personal troubled history and, and he's adding how he, he placed his hope in the Lord. Look. 
are given direction about where we ought to place our hope. This is in the text, in that verse 7, he said, I will. I don't know about everybody else around me. Don't even know about folks in my household. But he said, I will hope in the Lord. Well, what are you, what, what are you saying here, man? It means that we place the focus of our belief and our faith in the hands of God. It, it does not mean that you, you, you do not till the soil and, 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 and plant the seed. You know, some go, well, I'm, I'm putting it in the hands of the Lord. I'm waiting on the Lord. But uh, you got to do some other thing you got to do too now. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you want some corn, but you won't get off your lazy behind. To go down to the store to get you some corn seed. Break up the ground and plant the seed. You can keep on waiting. Unless somebody bring you some corn. You just keep looking out there in that field and there ain't no corn. Don't come up on his own. Amen. But we, we, we do our part. We pray. We, we fast. We are dedicated. We stay committed to the cause of Christ. We don't let folks throw us off. Of course, when we are focused on Jesus, because y'all do know Satan will throw us off course, right? Amen. We stay the course and, and we put our trust in him that God will increase our faith. How, how many of y'all, how many of y'all have, have just, just this year, and we know this year is almost gone, just this year in, in the last 11 months, for well, this month is almost gone, Amen. have had some things that happened that, that God had to increase your faith. Yeah. He had to increase your hope. Yeah. Yeah. He had to increase your trust in Him. Why, why is that, David? Can, can, you, can you give us a little bit more 
Give us a little bit more of that meat on that bone. He did because number one, he made the heaven. Yes. And he made the earth. And if he's built enough to make the heavens and the earth, and no man can do that, then God knows he can take care of our little old situation. Let it go along and say, times are difficult. How many of us? I mean, you have had to say, Lord, have mercy. Amen. 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 All of us can attest. How mercy alone is insufficient because we are reminded that with Him we have mercy. Mercy is relief from our troubles, even though we may have. Brought them on ourselves. Oh, and y'all, you know sometimes we bring trouble on ourselves, right? Amen. But my say is the granting of favor that we do not deserve. Uh -huh. My say is receiving another blessing in a time of need, although we are messed up all the other blessings that we have received. Yeah, yeah. That's why Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and verse 23. And, and, and so many ways the prophet Jeremiah limited over the condition of Israel. But at the same time, he recognized that every day God was actually giving them a new blessing. He was giving them some new messages. Each and every. As a matter of fact, he said, it is of the Lord's messages that, that we are not consumed. But you, it's not because you've been good. It's not because I've been good. It's not because any of us been good. Amen. That we are here. Amen. That we have what we have. Amen. But it's because of the mercy, the grace of Almighty God. Yeah. And then the invitation said, because his, his compassion. Aren't you glad that God got a compassion? Oh, yeah. Preparing 
does. He kept on working on us. And, and, and he said, look at here. Just because you have fallen. Yeah. All right. <coughs> how, how many of us, how many of us can hear that when, when our children were small and they were out in the yard and they, they would fall and hurt themselves and, and we could hear them crying. What, what was the first thing we would do when we get to them? Pick them up. Pick them up. Tell them that everything gonna be all right. Lord have mercy. Did y'all get that picture in there? Yeah. When, when we fall down and, and it look like that, we can't get up. We have a father that cares enough that he'll come down, rescue, and pick us up. Yeah. Even in our mess. All right. He said, "Look at here. I know you're falling." But I'm not going to take you out of here. All right. I, I, I'm going to keep on working on you. I'm going to keep on molding you. Uh -huh. and all of us that have our hope in Jesus, we can stay calm in the midst of a crisis. Amen. We can have peace in the midst of our problems. Yeah. We can press our way on. Even in the midst of our pain. Because the songwriter says, My hope mm -hmm. is built by it on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness.
But just like David said, I will put my hope in the Lord. We did go out every day. None of us know what that day is going to hold. But we put our hope in God. The Lord will ever come this day. This, this is what I tell him. Every day when he allowed me to get up and I, and I go out with regardless. Lord, whatever I'm faced with this day is nothing that you and I cannot help. Amen. I have to trust him. Regardless of what it may be. Because guess what? He still, he still has all power in his hand. Y'all, y'all, I ain't got to tell you about the dying. Y'all already know that. Yeah. Y'all, y'all know he's got up, don't you? Yeah. And y'all do know he he declared that all power oh, was in his hand. Oh, Regardless of what it may look like, don't lose hope. Amen. Make up your one time.
Amen. God bless you. And God bless you.